Hi everyone, happy Memorial Day. It's Monday, Memorial Day. And I have Nikolai here, I'm gonna change him. I love him in this color, um, but I just feel like interacting with him. So I've been thinking about him for the past couple days. So one thing with having a bunch of babies is knowing which, it's, it's almost like um, you, go, you go weeks without seeing a certain one. But I wanted to um, just show him laying here the way he plopped down here in his um, blanket and this little onesie. He is so realistic, this baby. I love him. So it's daylight out, but we're over here by the uh, LED lamp in my office slash nursery area. And I'm going to change this guy. So let's see if I can do this without stopping the camera. My feet. There we go. Probably don't need to be so far away. Gosh, is he cute. I just adore him. So I'm going to put him into this outfit that I, I'm pretty sure I won this in a giveaway a couple of years ago from Tracy at Aloha Babies, who's a little Jack Jack you saw in my nursery tour video recently, who's visiting me. He's not my baby. Um, and I just have some socks and a cute little bonnet I'm going to put on him, a hat, you'll see. So what is new on the baby front? You know, I think a lot about what it is about having a lot of dolls that drives one mad and can be disappointing and frustrating and awesome and out of control all at the same time. In my current doll situation, so I, I went I felt like a really good stretch without selling any dolls. And then I did sell two dolls. Two? Yep. One that was not here very long. Um, just didn't feel like my baby. If you know what I mean? Like she was gorgeous to look at and beautiful to take photos of, but there just something didn't click for me with that particular doll. Um, I still adore the sculpt though, but he is so precious. There is just, there is a certain something that you can't necessarily pre prescribe or pre define that is the it factor for the ones that stick around. Um, <laughs> he's got it. There's something about him that also reminds me of my brother when he was a baby in his cheeks and his features and stuff. And my brother was blonde. I don't know if that's it. Cause my brother does not have the, I say he looks, this baby looks very Russian. <laughs> to me he does, it's the eyebrows. But, um, so there is the, there's like this, it would be over dramatic to stick with the word paralyzing but there is something along those lines that happens when I think about doing a video or taking photos and then I start thinking about, okay, who am I gonna take photos of? Who, And it just, and then there's like so many and then there's a lot of clothes to dig through and then I still feel like I don't have clothes that I want or I've used them all, uh, which is also ridiculous, but it's a mental thing that's happening, right? Like of overwhelm, I guess you would say. So that happens. And I think also, I'll say this lightly because I'm probably going to backtrack a little bit. And I've said before, there's an element of having just one special doll or maybe one boy and one girl. And at one point I was like, one boy open-eyed, one sleeping, one girl open-eyed, one sleeping. And that would be everything, right? That was like, part of my justification to a larger collection, but it also, I felt covered the ground of everything I want. It doesn't account for all of the different sculpts that continue to come out and they just continue to be beautiful. But there's an element of, um, within Dolly 
terms, relationship with the personality of this collectible doll, which is also a baby doll, just as it was when I was a little kid and just takes me right back into that place. And they're so realistic, of course. Like to me, this is the ultimate. So I always either wanted a pet or a baby doll when I was growing up for Christmas and birthdays. That was the ultimate. He looks so cute in this. Oh my gosh. I think I want some photos of him in this before I put the pants on. Let me just take one or two. The lighting is god awful. Well, it just doesn't look the same as it does to me in person. Hopefully, I'm gonna I'm gonna just except for the fingerprint on there. Um, so that was always the ultimate, right? So then these super realistic dolls are, you know, that little girl's dream, that little kid's dream. But when you have just one that you focus all of your energy on. Like if I were to think about Stevie, my silicone, for example, if she was my one, you know, the interaction each day and um, fully getting full appreciation and like use <laughs> out of the doll, it would be different than splitting it up amongst nine or 10. <clears throat> but here's the backpedaling part. I love them all and when I'm when I have one out and I'm taking photos of or changing that one like I'm entirely focused on that doll and frequently I think man I could just have this one baby and be happy and like that level of loving them appreciating them is there <laughs> cute. moving around just so you can kind of see his different poses. His cheeks in the camera, when I look through the camera, he looks mm, a little bit less detailed. His cheeks are so ruddy and rashy. Um, his detail is quite remarkable. Um, and then, you know, I found that I can fully love one of my dolls. And then one day, this like ranking thing happens where maybe I see one that like I imagine even more of a connection with or an appre or or it is like let's just say it simply I just kind of like it better and then there's this like ranking system that happens and these toes I don't know if you can see these toes <laughs> the second toe is above the big toe Um, maybe it's kind of like I just feel like I've gotten my fill of that doll and I want to keep it like there's a different feeling between wanting to keep it because I want to like hoard it or I just want to possess it and um, just fully loving and appreciating having it there's just a difference and I don't know how to perfectly verbalize it but there is he is so cute in this outfit. Okay, well, let me put on the final piece. So this hat um, was gifted to me by an artist that I had a custom done from. Um, actually, she gifted it me with, with my second custom for the first one. I don't have the doll anymore, but I kept this gift because it was really special to me that she included it. And being that his shirt says baby bear, I thought I would try it on this little guy because that doll is also newborn size. And I just want to see <laughs> what it looks like and what kind of pictures we can get. And one of my hairs found its way. So right now, um, so I did a box opening, my last video of my uh, 
Sally. I'll bring her out so you can see her so I can tell you her name um, that I got from Ashley, Baby Love Heart Smith, secondhand, who I love. By the way, that doll was reborn in December of last year, not May. I forgot about the dates being written differently. Just um, day, month, year versus the other. Oh my gosh, he's fabulous. Um, so that box opening, I have a custom that I ordered. Custom Ava that I ordered. I shipped the kid out in February. Got to her middle of February, and that doll's been in transit for almost 50 days. And that experience was meh, the whole process. I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep that doll, to be honest with you. I don't know what it is, but with the delays and then your experience kind of changes things. And the time passes, but we're going to see. I'm reserving full judgment until she gets here because the pictures are pretty good um but maybe in person I'll love her even more and then this other doll that I've watched for months and she just happened to still be available and um she is I'm so excited for her she's in transit and then we're, that's it oh I did order um a Laura kit from Bonnie Brown that baby looks just like me when I was an infant we're gonna stash that kit for a bit look at his face look at him love it on him. He's so sweet. I don't know why I'm whispering. Baby bear. And then Jackie is keeping the old outfit warm. Thank you, Jackie. Sweet Nikolai. Okay. Uh, this blanket doesn't match anymore, of course, but that's okay. Oh my gosh. I love him. I wonder if I carry him over by the window. That's okay. Y'all have seen him before. You can kind of see his details if I go up close. Right living color. His little milk bumps. And let's see if you can see his rashy cheeks. He is amazing. He was painted by Natalia Sklyar. Another Russian artist. And bearded, of course, by her. And his hair is unbelievable. I just want to bring out my little Sally girl for just a minute. Oh, this is crooked. I think my floors are crooked. Okay. Come here, baby bear. We're just going to use this boppy for a minute. Get over here. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. This baby was in my last video. I opened her up. And of course, we're going to fuss with her blanket now for a minute. I'm always fussing. So here she is. You can't see her face very well. She's in this koala baby sleeper that I've put on a lot of the dolls, the girls that I've brought home over the last couple of years. And I just love it on her. Ashley said she looks like a gift. She does. It's a little ruffle and bow on the on the bum too. So I just wanted to tell you her name really quick and show her to you again. I'm not ready to take her out of this outfit just yet. Um, but I named her Posy. <laughs> um, Posey, and her middle name is Noor, which means light. And Posey is, uh, can mean a couple different things. It could be, it, it is a, an antiquated spelling of, um, or meaning of um, poetry, but it also is a little bunch of flowers. A little bunch of flowers, and she is such a little flower, so it suits her. So this is Posey. And we put some photos of her already up on our Instagram. And of course, she's the Sally sculpt by Bonnie Brown, just like my Charlie. So my chat had no real um, 
moral of the story. It was just sort of where my head's at with collecting right now. So I did sell two dolls. So right now I have to count them. I have to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have nine reborns and one silicone right now. And there's two on their way. So that would be a total of 12 dolls, not including my alternative little dolls and my Joker doll. Um, so we'll be at 11 or 12, depending on whether I sell my little Ava. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you for watching if you did, and if you didn't, you won't hear this anyway. I uh, hope everybody had a really nice weekend. We're sending out lots of love, and we will see y'all soon. <laughs> Bye for now. Jack, what's all over? Oh, he's been eating a stick. Something, whatever it is in his face. All right. Bye, guys.